So yeah, this is like our first time RVing and not camping, camping per se. Like we're actually using our travel trailer as a place to sleep and like eat some meals, but we're not at a campsite with a fire and like a lake or, you know, hiking trails right around. Yeah, I'm not even totally sure when we were RV shopping that I thought about this kind of RVing because it's not camping. I think all I was thinking about was you know, going to campsites and being near water and fishing and having the campfire and relaxing. And I'm actually super excited, especially after finding Harvest Hosts, mainly because it's free, uh, to have places where, yeah, it's just kind of like your traveling hotel room. And on top of that, you're at a distillery or a brewery or a farm, right. which is very good for me. Yeah. Um, so I'm very excited about the distillery and just kind of learning to use it as a home base while doing other things where the main event isn't camping, which I could do for 21 days straight, but I think some other people in the car might get a little bored with that. I don't know that we would get bored depending on where we are, but it's definitely not the season for 21 days of camping in a row. It's, it's snowy outside. True. Yeah, it's also our, our first trip of 2020. Our first trip before probably April ever camping in Colorado or RVing in Colorado. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to see how it's going to hold up. I think tonight's temperatures are in the teens. And uh, we have a de-winter rest, so we're just we're going to be putting no water down anything except for the toilet. Yeah, we're we of course can't de-winterize living in Colorado this early, so we have a, a no number two rule and we're gonna add some antifreeze to the black tank. And immediately when we're done Sunday, go straight to a dump station to rinse and drain and dump and clean and continue to rinse. And then obviously drain till it's dry, add a little more antifreeze and be able to camp again. But we won't have sinks, showers. We can't wash dishes. We can't put anything into the gray water tank because I don't want to have to drain that or blow it out again. So. We are, for the first time, basically really dry camping other than minimal toilet use. Yep. We get to use our new kitchen stuff that we bought, like the insert for the sink so that we can like actually wash a dish, but we'll just have to throw that water out. Hey, Charlie, what are we doing? Where are we going? The camping. Oh, okay. Talk to the people at Spirit Hound Distillery twice. They seem very nice. I'm excited to see their business um, being our harvest host. And kind of see how that goes. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think it's excitement also. Yeah, yeah I think. We've never been any right. So it's we more like, like just so I know. We normally never seen it. canvas the spot online and on YouTube and what's it, campingsites.com or something. Campsitephotos.com, right. I believe. Right. Hey, we're That's not the only people right. out camping today, but it looks like we're having better luck than that. So normally we like know exactly what the spot looks like and everything before we go. I was just talking. No. I was thinking honestly. If we really maximize weekends and things like this, and we camped into October last year, yep. I mean, depending on where we go, yeah. I think we can get 30 nights in this year. 30 nights? It's it's it, going to be pushing it, but we went into a whole month. I know. How awesome would that be? That's, that's a month of camping in nine months, because... November, December, January are probably off limits. Uh, well, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes in Lyons, Colorado on February 14th. Valentine's Day camping. Yep. Nothing's more romantic than a... This trip is to try Harvest Host to see how we do in freezing cold temperatures. 
and I'm so not, I'm so glad we got off the side. And to if we don't like it, we're only 35 minutes from home. Yeah, that is the beauty of our first harvest host is 35 minutes, give or take, from home. If we do one night and we hate it, which, oh, by the way, we're kind of breaking the harvest host rule because we didn't know there was a harvest host rule that you're kind of supposed to be in and out in one night. Right. Uh, so we've got two nights scheduled uh, at the distillery. Uh, Craig and, and Amanda. Amanda were super nice about it and understanding it might help that it's February 14th and there wasn't a lot of demand. But uh, yeah, if, if we do the first night and we find out that this cold weather camping just isn't for us, we get to go home. We'll still definitely buy something from their business as oh, yeah. is kind of the deal with harvest host that's what i'm mostly excited about uh and it's just a great way to break in harvest host cold weather camping virtually dry camping yeah. setting up in a parking lot uh learning about how much our batteries can power because we're not yes. going to be plugged in and we didn't bring a generator right so there's a there's a lot to learn here i'm hoping adding that second 12 volt battery will be just fine for obviously the furnace and the lights and then I brought another battery and an inverter for charging phones maybe a little bit of TV so like I said a lot of a lot of firsts I really wanted to try it maybe are you excited that it's the first time we're actually trying to make a, a video after watching, I would say literally a hundred hours plus of YouTube videos just about camping, yeah. we decided if nothing more than home videos for our own memories to take the plunge and got a GoPro and a couple oh. stabilizers for our cell phones. There's the sign. We're only 12 miles away already. That's amazing how close we are to home. So I read up a little on Spirit Hound Distillery, which I know is probably more my interest than anyone else's because I'm the only one who drinks. Uh, every batch of uh, whiskey, vodka, I think maybe rum, but everything that they distill, they make literally one barrel of that particular batch. I read that also. And I think that they even have like constructed their own still, are they called stills? Like what they make mm -hmm. it in? Yeah. Like they didn't go out and buy a, like a professional one. I think they like made their own. But I could be wrong. I think I read that somewhere. I think so too. Yeah, so super excited. Please tell me that's just a cough. Are you okay, Chuck? Yeah. Yep. You're just closing your eyes because the sun's in them? Yep. You're so cute, sweet pea. Charlie, are we going to go camping? Say camping. No vomitando, okay? It's only a 20 mile ride. But it's. I don't think she puked. Oh, she puked? Uh huh. She just threw up. Okay. Do we have a. Pull over somewhere? I'm gonna pull over at the first available spot. Is it a lot? Yeah. Is it like real solid or is it clear? Oh, All done, cool. baby. What about. Okay. Go back to the camper. Mommy's coming. Oh, God. I know it's cold, but mommy got you.
so it has been an adventure this morning. We snow camped in Frederick, excuse me, we snow camped in Lyons, which was overall great. Learned a few lessons I'm sure we'll talk about. Well, Lyons is 20 miles from one of our favorite places in the world, Estes Park. And about 13 miles in, little Charlie, the almost two year old, got car sick. So not being as prepared as we should be, we made it to Estes Park in a very smelly truck. We got to a gas station where luckily we had a change of clothes. So mommy and sissy, thank goodness, got her in a new change of clothes, cleaned her up with baby wipes. I completely dismantled a puke filled forward facing car seat and we quickly discovered that there is no store in Estes Park to buy a new car seat because we've decided she's just not ready for the forward facing. This isn't the first time we thought we were done with this, but we weren't. So we need a rear facing car seat. Not a single store in Estes Park has one. So we found a laundromat and we're washing all the dirty car seat components. And then I got resourceful and I got on Facebook Marketplace, found two rear facing car seats in Estes Park. And I am pulling up to a house now to get a rear facing car seat and save the day. We will be back. Okay. Thanks to the kindness of strangers, we are back on track. I am heading back to the laundromat to pick up the three girls. We have a rear facing car seat, which drastically minimizes the chances of another vomit session. And at 1245, we can resume our plans in our favorite place in the world, Estes Park. Oh man, what an adventure. And boy, as much as we like to talk about preparedness and having what you need, you're just never gonna have everything you need with a toddler. Uh, I'm actually really proud of us for having a change of clothes. Uh, of course, you're never gonna carry a second car seat. Uh, and it's just our, our luck uh, to be in a town where there is not a new car seat to be had in the world. Uh, but luckily they had a laundromat, so it's clean and we'll get it home and go through the 1700 steps of putting it back together again. Uh, and then we'll retire it for six months or a year until we feel like Charlie can make it 20 miles or so without throwing up in a forward facing car seat. Uh, next stop will be the drugstore for some Dramamine for the rest of the day, just to play it safe. Uh, but while we were doing laundry, I was able to go get our propane tank still, so that's a plus. Uh, I was able to go to a hardware store next door uh, and get a few things we needed that we found out we needed last night. Some new rings for the power inverter, some ring terminals to attach to the battery uh, because again, the baby, and there's a recurring theme when something goes wrong on these trips that she's usually pretty heavily involved. She wanted to pull on the cables last night and loosen the ring terminal so we don't have a inverter to power uh, our TV or charge our phones because we're, uh, for all intents and purposes, dry camping. I also just totally took a wrong turn uh, trying not to use GPS to get around Estes Park. Luckily, I can go the long way around the Pretty Lake and still end up where the girls are. So I got new ring terminals for the inverter. We got our propane filled. We have a baby who doesn't seem to still be sick. We should be set. I needed to buy a piece of hardware because I dropped a little screw in eight inches of snow yesterday, so it was impossible to find, so I can get some drone footage. Uh, so I rigged up what will probably work at the hardware store, but I need to go back in and get another washer to try to rig that up so we can fly the drone around the Stanley Hotel, which is beautiful. Some of the areas outside of Estes Park near the river, which are beautiful. So again, it's 1245. And in five minutes, we'll be resuming our day to where it should have been at about 10.15. So this will probably be the last time you see me alone in this truck for a very, very 